Hi everybody, for this task we're going to use Google Forms to create an online quiz. Google Forms is a surprisingly versatile tool and you can use it to create quizzes that your students can take online and you'll have instant access to their answers. You can even set up a quiz so that it's automatically graded. So to get to Google Forms, you can go to forms.google.com and this will take you to a page with any forms that you created or that you have access to. Up at the top, you'll see some templates to get started with a new form. And for this task, we'll choose blank quiz. Now you can see that we have the beginning of a quiz with the template for one multiple choice question. Let's take a look at these icons up at the top and explain what they're for. This paint palette icon lets you choose some options for the look of your quiz. You can choose some colors and fonts, and you can also insert your own header image. I'm going to keep this simple and just choose a red theme. This eye icon lets you preview and try out your quiz. Right now there's nothing much to see, so let's go back to editing mode with this pencil icon. This gear icon lets you choose the settings for your quiz, and these are really important, so let's work on the settings right now. We've got three tabs for the settings, general, presentation, and quizzes, and we're starting out with general. The first option is whether to collect email addresses, and you have to check this if you want to view your students' quiz answers. When students are signed into Google, the quiz will just automatically collect their Google usernames so that you can identify each student. I'm going to restrict this quiz to students in my district. In most cases, this isn't so important because you'll only be sharing this quiz with your students. And I'm going to limit this quiz to one response per student. And below, I don't want students to be able to change their answers after they submit the quiz or see summary charts, so I'll just leave these two blank. Let's move to the presentation tab of the settings. You can choose whether students see a progress bar and whether the question order is shuffled. I'll leave these two unchecked and you can see that the option for a link to submit another response is grayed out because I already decided that students can only submit one, one response. Below, you can change the confirmation message once students submit the quiz, and I'll leave that as is. Finally, let's move to the Quizzes tab, and we can see that the Make This a Quiz option is already toggled on. Below, we have two options for releasing grades. If you just have a simple multiple choice quiz, you can choose to release the grade right after they submit. However, if your quiz includes written answers, you'll want to manually review the quizzes and grade them. So you would choose the second option. I'm going to make this a short multiple choice quiz that can be automatically graded. And then down below, you have some options for what students see when they do get their grades. I'll let students see all of these things and then save everything that I've done in the settings. Okay, I'm going to give students a quick quiz about rock types. So I'll just call it rocks. That's the title that the students see. And for me, I'm going to change the name of the quiz to rocks also. Now for the first question, you can see over on the right that this is a multiple choice question. If you click on that, you'll see different options for what type of question you want. Short answer and paragraph are for students to enter text. And then these next options, multiple choice, check boxes, and drop down, all let students choose from options that you create. So they basically have the same function. If you were to have a whole bunch of choices, you might want the grids down here. But generally speaking, you'll have everything you need with these first five question types at the top. I'm going to leave my first question as multiple choice. OK, so for my first question, I'm going to ask what type of rock is formed by heat and pressure. Then I'll move down to create my options. I want to include the three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Now to help automatically grade this quiz, I need to identify the correct answer. So I'm going to go to the answer key and I'll select the correct answer, which is metamorphic. I also want to assign a point value to this question, so I'll choose one point. So if I go back to edit this question, I also want to require students to answer the question, so I'll toggle the required switch here. Let's look quickly at the options for this question. We can show a description for the question, which I don't need. Go to section based on answer allows for branching and is more advanced, so we'll leave that be. And we can shuffle the option order, but I'll leave that be as well. 
Okay, my first question is done. Now I want to ask a similar question about the other two types of rocks. So to save time, I'm just going to duplicate the question and then edit the duplicate. I'm going to change this question to ask what type of rock is formed by cooling magma. And then it's important to modify the answer key because the correct answer is still marked as metamorphic. So I'm selecting igneous, but notice that both answers are selected now. This shows that it's possible to have more than one correct answer, but in this case, there's just one correct answer, igneous. So for my next question, I'll duplicate again and modify the question to ask, what type of rock is formed by layers of sediment. And I need to change my answer key to indicate that the correct answer is sedimentary. Now we have enough questions to preview our quiz, so let's click on the I icon up top. And this is what the quiz will look like to students. Now you can try out the quiz and submit it, but just keep in mind that your own response will be added to all the responses along with your students. Plus remember, I can only take this quiz once but I'm going to do that now to demonstrate. Okay, I'll choose the correct answers for the first two questions, and then I'll purposely choose the wrong answer for the last question to see what happens. I click on Submit, and then I get my confirmation message plus an option to view my score. And that lets students review their answers based on the options we chose in the settings. And I can see that I got the first two questions right, and the last question is wrong, plus I can see the correct answer for that question. Now that's the student's view. Let's go back to our teacher editing page, and we can now see that we have one response. If we click on that, we've got a lot of ways to view and interpret the results. There's only one response right now, of course, but you can see that you'll get bar graphs with the scores and how students did on individual questions. You can also get more of a breakdown about individual questions, and then you can also view the results of each student's complete quiz. And remember that with Google Forms, there is the possibility of manually grading quizzes, and this is the page where you would do that. And we can demonstrate right now. So let's go down to the wrong answer. Now notice that Google Forms automatically gave this answer zero points. You can actually go in and change that score which would be useful for a short answer or paragraph type of question. Plus, you can add feedback to a student for any question, along with the option to add a link or even a YouTube video. Okay, so let's say that we're happy with the quiz, so what do we do with it? Well, let's hit the send button up at the top for some options. You can send via email, a link or embedded code. In most cases, you probably just want a link that you can give to students, maybe through Google Classroom or some other online uh, resource. You can shorten the link if you want, but either way, you hit copy and you've just copied the link to your clipboard and you can post that wherever you like. If you do use Google Classroom, you don't even need to do any of this because you can access and assign the quiz you made from within Google Classroom. Okay, that's it. That's how you create a quiz in Google Forms. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.